Hi everyone, welcome back to Simple Dish. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be cooking a nice piece of flounder. My husband caught it when he was out fishing. He filleted it for me. I'm gonna bake it. All you need are a few ingredients. Very simple to make and I can't wait to show you how to make it. Today I'm gonna be using a half a stick of softened butter. Uh, I've already softened it up. I'm gonna throw it in the microwave. I also picked up some fresh green beans at HEB. That looked really nice and that's gonna go really well with my baked flounder dish. You wanna use some lemon pepper. I like this one. You want to have some breading. I love this panko Japanese style bread crumbs. Uh, it's easy to find. You can find it at your local grocery store. You don't have to go to an Asian market to find this and it's really good. It tastes the same. And you want a couple of really good fresh lemons so we can squeeze some fresh lemon onto our dish. Okay, if you don't have lemon pepper seasoning, no worries, you can just use salt and pepper for this dish because the breading gives a lot of flavor to your fish. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on my flounder. We're gonna let that sit for a little bit. In the meantime, I have my half a stick of butter. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up. Like I said, I've already softened it. As you can see, I don't really use a lot of butter in my cooking, but for this dish, it's gonna be worth it. There you go. I'm gonna throw that in the microwave. I like to watch it because I don't wanna let it boil. I'm gonna throw that in the microwave. I'm gonna microwave it for 15 seconds. Perfect. So you want your butter to look like that. You're gonna come over to your pan and you're just going to put a little bit of butter just to barely co cover the bottom. Of course you can use olive oil or any kind of oil if you want, but it just tastes a lot better with butter. <laughs> Everything tastes better with butter, right? Okay, next you're gonna get your panko breading and you're going to cover the bottom of your baking dish. Depending how much breading you want, you can just be generous because we're going to put this on top also. Okay, once that's done, you're going to preheat your toaster oven to 350 for 10 minutes, maybe 15 if it takes you a little longer to prep it. Okay, so while that's preheating, we're going to put this dish to the side. We're going to put a little bit more breading because this is what we're going to use to bread our fish. So be generous. Put some more of the butter. And mix that around really well. You're gonna get your fish and you're gonna just start breading it. Of course you can use your hands, but I just feel like using chopsticks. And don't worry about the breading because we're gonna just put a bunch on. Okay, you're gonna get your other filet. Go ahead and just coat it. If you need more butter, you can just use a little bit of butter to coat it with. Okay, and then one more filet. It's gonna look just like this. Can y'all see that? Okay, and then you're gonna just put the remaining buttered breadcrumbs on top, just like that. Make sure you spread it out evenly. If you have some leftover butter, go ahead and just pour it along the edges. If you wanna add more breading, feel free to do that. Okay, and then you're just gonna put it in the oven for about seven to 10 minutes, depending on how strong your oven is, so. Okay, while my fish is baking, I'm going to saute my green beans. I have a little Asian sauce that I like to make it with. You're gonna turn your heat onto medium high. Put a generous amount of cooking oil on your pan. I like to mix it with a little bit of sesame oil. Sesame oil always gives Asian dishes a nice little depth of flavor. 
Okay, you're going to spread the oil around just like this. I've already washed my green beans, picked off the ends so it's nice and clean. You're going to put one tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon of sugar, teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and you're going to use three tablespoons of soy sauce. I like to use this when I'm cooking. If you don't see it in the Asian grocery stores, it's probably because it's sold out. It's been pretty difficult to find actually these days. Let this come to a nice little boil. You don't want to over cook this sauce. Just kind of want to dissolve the sugar. Once it starts boiling on the edges and you've dissolved the sugar, you're going to toss in your green beans. I always make this for parties and this is a really big crowd pleaser because it's healthy. It's not your typical Chinese buffet green beans. It has a lot more flavor. So about two minutes on each side, then you're gonna toss them around and it's done. Okay, see we gave it a nice toss and while that's sauteing, I wanted to show y'all something that I thought was fascinating. You get a nice piece of lemon and the part where it sticks out, you wanna poke a hole in there all the way through. And I don't know, I saw it and it worked. Let's see if it works for fresh squeezed lemon. Let's see. Oh, it does work. Wow. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this for my sauce. I'm also going to use it for my fish. Cool. Depending how well you want your green beans, I don't like my garlic burnt and I like my vegetables still a bit crunchy. So it's been about four minutes, two minutes on each side. I can already tell the middle ones are getting real soft. So I'm gonna cut it off, turn your heat off. Oh, that's really good. That's gonna go really well with the fish. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. We're gonna go check on our fish. Okay, as you know, flounder does not take that long to cook. It's been six minutes. You know, originally I said check uh, seven to ten minutes, it should be ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look. My toaster oven it works really, really well. Okay, I'm gonna see if my fish is done. Nope, not yet. So we're gonna just go ahead and give it the full seven to ten minutes and we'll check again. We went ahead and cooked it or baked it the whole 10 minutes. Let's check it out. It smells really good. Make sure it's flaky. Yep, it's flaky. Okay, it's ready to plate. Okay, it's ready to plate. I have my green beans. I have my lemon. Oh, yummy. Wow, that's a lot of breading. Okay, let's go get some green beans. Squeezing our fresh lemon onto our finished product. Oh, that's good. Yum. Wow, I love how flaky the fish turned out. I love how we squeezed fresh lemon. Mmm, so good. Let's see. Wow, this is a great dish to make at home. You don't get the really heavy buttery sauce. It's really nice and lemony. I could have used a lot less batter. Probably we'll do that next time, but it was so good. I hope you're able to make this at home just really simple ingredients. You can always make substitutes for things that you don't have. But overall, this dish is a great way to cook whitefish filet. Luckily, we have flounder and flounder doesn't take much for it to taste good. So I'm very excited about how this dish turned out.
Thank you for watching Simple Dish. Make sure you subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time.